Hey cruisers, happy live stream Saturday. Welcome, welcome. We are so happy to have you here. Special thumbs up, kudos, shout out, whatever you want to call it to Zachary who got to the chat early today and was hanging out with us. Zachary, I didn't even know you could do that. It's actually really kind of cool. Um, I was sitting here while my husband was doing all the audio tests and the camera test, it was really nice to chat with you. So welcome. And um, before we forget, you guys, Zachary's probably going to Nassau soon and wants some tips for Nassau that keep him and his family in this safe kind of touristy area. So if anybody has any Nassau tips, then let's go ahead and get them to Zachary. Before I say hello to everyone, I want to remind you all that this episode is sponsored by CruiseLine.com where you can compare prices. Did you know that? You can also compare prices using their easy to use cruise search feature. They have tons of different sites that you can compare prices from. It's a really cool thing. I love checking it out before I cruise to make sure that I'm not getting you know, some kind of a wacky price from the cruise line itself. So be sure to check it out. We will always include a link to our sponsor, cruiseline.com in the notes below after the live stream goes live. So please check them out. That's one way that you can totally support us. Let's see who's here. I see a ton of people coming in. Looks like it's from all over the world too. Let's see who we have here. The Gaming Techs is here. Hello, Gaming Techs. Good job turning on your notifications. Don't forget you guys click that little bell so that you know when we're live. In case you forget, you will get an email reminding you. It's the way to go. Um, Sydney's here. Hi, Sydney. So good to see you. Audrey, Wesley Christie, Courtney. Um, Jennifer's here. Steve Steve from Kansas City. I think you meant hello, Steve from Kansas City, not hell from Kansas City. So I'll forgive you for this for this time. Rhonda B's here. Let's see, Crickles here. Christine O'Neill. Oh, and her sister Kelly. Hello to both of you. Rock Girl is here, and we're going to be mentioning a tip from Rock Girl today. Andrew Cruz. <laughs> Rylan from Hawaii. Aloha, Rylan. That is so awesome. Ms. Mary watched us last night on our pop-up live stream where we showed gear and is back today. Thank you. I'm I hope that you enjoyed that. I know it was kind of a crazy thing to do, but we had a lot of fun. Courtney from Florida, Night Audit. Hey, how you doing? It's been a while. Brandy from Oklahoma. Bethany says hi to me and Mr. Cruise Tips TV. Bonnie, oh, it's raining in Florida, Bonnie, bummer. Hi, Sharon, good to see you. We're gonna talk about your question today. I'm excited about it, it was a really good timing. Um, Dale, Cheryl, Audrey, Katie, oh my goodness, I can't catch up, this is so exciting. Where? I think I'm, I'm falling behind here. Oh my goodness sakes, there's so many of you guys here. So today's theme, everyone, is money-saving tips. We're gonna try to stay as focused as we, as we can on money-saving tips, but as we know, a lot of questions will be coming in in the live chat, and so we will be kind of all over the road. That's okay, that's what these live streams are all about. They're meant to be spontaneous, they're meant to be fun, and we will get back on track as much as we can. I want to thank everybody so much for all the thumbs ups on our recent videos, especially our day one embarkation vlog from Carnival Miracle. I personally love watching it over and over again because it makes me feel like I'm back on a cruise and it reminds me of all the fun that we had. It's so funny when you get back from a cruise how fast you forget all the little details and that's one of the reasons why we started Cruise Tips TV was to record our family trips and to have some, you know, some kind of memory that we could keep with us forever. And we're so glad that you all encouraged us to turn the camera around and start vlogging um, last year. That's actually a relatively new thing for Cruise Tips TV. We actually started off as doing YouTube content creation that focused only on tip videos. And now we definitely consider ourselves novice vloggers, but we're having a lot of fun with it. We're trying to get better. There's always room for improvement, even with vlogging. Um, we like to have a little bit more of a high production value when we vlog, so um, it's just the way that we are. It's hard for us just to kind of throw things together and publish them, so be patient while we keep editing our vlogs. I promise it'll be worth it. You guys are gonna love our day two Cabo vlog. It was so amazing. Um, we went on a cool sailing excursion and I just, oh, I can't even, I can't even highly recommend that excursion enough. So funny thing I want to tell you guys, so I want to share something with you. Um, HD Jester, I don't know if you are here, but you dared me to wear my new mermaid sweater blanket thing that I got on Facebook. Well, I can't really wear it because if I wear it, I wouldn't be able to move, but I do have it on the back of my chair here and I really wanna show it to you guys. I, if I would've thought about this, I would've showed it to you last night. 
on the um, the pop-up live stream vlog that we did showing all the products we're gonna review, but I just forgot it in my closet. But I wanna show this thing to you. You guys, this was like $7, $12 or something on Amazon. I know I posted a link to it on Facebook. And it's like the highest quality sweater material I've ever seen. You have to see this. I'm not sure if you can see it. This is the mermaid tail. Can you see this part? Can you see that in the cockpit, hubby? Can you see it over there? Can you show me if you can see this on the screen? Oh yeah, oh you guys can see it. This is a little mermaid tail. Okay, and you have to see how big this thing is. I'm gonna try to hold it up. It is huge. This is the back of it. So this like fans out and you can like crawl into it and snuggle up on the couch. And then it just keeps going and going and going until you get to the little tail. So if anybody has ever thought about getting one of these, they are wonderful. Of course, I just got all the fuzz from it in my face, which is not really a good thing, but it's gonna keep me warm and toasty today. I'm actually not going to wear it, but I'm gonna snuggle up with it because we cranked up the air conditioner in our house this morning so that our computers would stay cold. I'm cold. So anyway, all right. I am seeing a bunch of tips coming in here and I wanna go ahead and, and get back on track. So pardon my little diversion there, but let's see if any of you are piping in with some money saving tips. Oh my goodness, we've got fuzz everywhere, guys. I'm so sorry, but we have to, we have to defuzz. All right. Oh my goodness, so many of you from all over the US and we've got Dinara back from Russia today. My goodness sakes, we've got Dawn from Scotland. This is so exciting, you guys. Thank you so much for popping in and all of these different time zones, I can only imagine. All right, who's got some money saving tips for us today? Um, let's see, Indiana in the house, okay. Zachary, I think you see some Nassau tips coming in and I'm seeing everybody saying they stayed on the ship and stay, stayed away. There's a lot to do in Nassau. I know that we can find you some good tips. Um, let's see here, great, great, great. Where's our money saving tips? I'm scrolling like crazy to find them, you guys. I know I saw some coming in. Let's see here. Okay. Oh my goodness sake. I, there are literally hundreds of you here right now. Um, Allie Del Rey needs to know about gratuities on cruises. We're gonna cover that for you today, Allie. Don't worry, okay? We're coming, we're, we're going to give you some good information on that today, so I promise. Ginger, I'm so glad you're here. Be sure you stay to the end. We need to have you here today. Let's see here. Um, someone's saying do more live streams on cruise gear. Yes, we're going to. Um, Wesley Christie, I think our next live stream on cruise gear is going to be um, uh, something like a beauty box. Not a beauty box, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna do a what's in my makeup bag live. I think we need to do that. Everybody's been asking me to do it. Um, Santa, vegan cruiser saying, did I know that I'm on at the same time as the new MSC ship Mar Maravilla launch? They're streaming live. No, I didn't know that. I'm sorry, I wouldn't have booked this at the same time. Darn it, darn it. Okay, all right, let's see here. Bonnie, you're asking a question about our Amazon merch. Okay, we'll talk about that a little bit later today. Okay, let's see here, guys. We have so many questions coming in, so what I'm gonna do is read a few of your tips today. All right, first money-saving tip today is from um, Sharon C. She said, purchase water ahead of time and have them, have them clear out your fridge. Sharon is correct. You can save money by purchasing your water ahead of time. It's a little cheaper mostly on most cruise lines in advance. And you can have them clear all of the mini bar stuff out of your fridge and put the water in there. That's a great money saving tip. Sagusta Wright is saying um, that they've been putting all their change in a jar for about five years and take it to the bank and get bills for tipping. Excellent, excellent idea. Mike in Jersey has a tip saying Carnival gift cards are usually 10% off from City Easy Deals, AARP Rewards and Verizon Rewards and can be used to pay for cheers. That's awesome, Mike, so that's a good way to save 10% off. Um, okay, let's see who else has some money-saving tips. Cruising with Wheels, hey, nice to have you here, guys. Um, money-saving tip, book early, don't wait. Best price is the first day the sailing is available. This is excellent advice, you guys. Um, Cruising with Wheels, who's an awesome resource for disabled travelers, travelers in wheelchairs, is here today and offering some of my favorite advice. Um, booking with a travel agent and booking early are two of my favorite. It sounds like Dale is echoing that you should book with a travel agent and check with your travel agent periodically before your final payment date because promotions change frequently, right? And another benefit of booking with a travel agent is they can just rebook you, right, Dale? They can save you that money, so that's great. Um, wow, you guys, Colin Heischler has just donated $10 to Cruise Tips TV using Super Chat, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Colin, thank you very much. We in no way want anyone to ever feel like they have to contribute during um, Super Chat. I have never seen this happen, but I will tell you that a giant 
orange banner pops up when that happens. Thank you so very much for your generous donation. That's very, very kind. Um, from the bottom of our heart, though, I want to tell you that we do not ever expect that, and we just appreciate, Colin, having you here. And I know you were here yesterday, too. And I even, I think I pronounced your last name wrong, so I'm sorry, but thank you so much. My goodness sakes, that was so kind. Hello, Rice from Germany. That is awesome. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Um, it's that Slasher, I think, has an awesome tip on Royal Caribbean, a money-saving tip. If you're going on Royal Caribbean Oasis-class ship, book one of the Central Park or Boardwalk balconies to get free meals or rock climbing. I didn't know that you could do that. That's really cool. Thank you so much. Sharon has another tip. Don't be afraid to meet the crew. Um, Sharon scored an award-winning drink by mingling with the CFO of the ship. That is a very out-of-the-box idea. I love it. Very cool. Um, uh, Carrie, is it Carrie Marshall, is saying if you book a cruise through Priceline, you can sign up for Ebates and typically get 10% back. Sometimes they do promotions for up to 15% back. Um, let's see here. Okay, Cruising with Eel Wheels has another awesome money-saving tip, you guys. This is so great. Keep them coming. If you like a particular cruise line, get their credit card. Most often, you get bonus points for $100, $200, and even $500 off a cruise. That is awesome. Um, hey, Cruising with Wheels, do you have a particular cruise line credit card that you like? It, I'm assuming you, I know you guys sail with Norwegian a lot, so let me know if you have anything like that. Um, Susie Q says you can use apps to buy gift cards with Carnival. Um, let's see here. Santa from Vegan Cruiser. Hi, Santa. Wants to add that the travel agent advice and option of rebooking to get a better deal applies to those only in the U.S. Unfortunately, non-U.S. cruise travelers don't get the same terms and conditions. So that's a very good point. Thank you for reminding um, us about that. Miss Jomama76 wants to know if there's any cruise lines that are all-inclusive, including alcohol. Yes, upscale cruise lines, not the mainstream ones, but more upscale cruise lines tend to be all-inclusive. The one cruise line that is totally all-inclusive, or cruise ship, I should say, would be, um, it is, is it Norwegian Sky? I believe it's Norwegian Sky has an all-inclusive drinks package for everyone that cruises it. So that is something that you should be aware of. Okay, great. Let's see here. All right. Very, very good. Let's see what else we have here. I'm going to go ahead and read a few questions and um, talk a little bit more about tips, you guys. Let's see here. I'm seeing if I missed anybody. Let's see here. I'm, I'm not seeing any tips that I've missed. Oh, here we go. David Rett Shoemaker has one. A money-saving tip that David um, learned the hard way. The tips are usually automatically added to the ticket total when you order drinks. So use discretion when you're tipping extra. David is correct. 15 to 18% are added when you buy an alcoholic or non-alcoholic drink. And so you don't necessarily want to add more. If you'd like to tip more, you may. But you have to be very careful about that because that can really add up fast. Okay. So let's see here. Okay, Christina wants to know if you can bring your own water or soft drinks on board Holland America. Christina, I'm not sure of Holland America's policy. I haven't sailed with them in a while, so I'll check on that for you. If anybody knows Holland America's um, beverage policy right now, please do let us know. I'd so appreciate that. Okay, alrighty. Let's go ahead and get to some of our tips that have been coming in, or questions and tips that have been coming in this week. Here we go. Let's see here. And I've got a lot of other questions coming in, so let's have Hubby keep an eye on those. Um, I do see one more tip, too, from Always Be Booked is here. Hi, Tommy, from Always Be Booked. Um, bon Voyage package with Carnival can get you bottles of liquor waiting in your room for under 100 bucks. Hey, Tommy, I didn't actually know that. So do you get a discount if you buy the Bon Voyage package? So if you order the bottle on board, it's more expensive than if you order it in advance. Is that what you mean? Is the Bon Voyage package when you just book it in advance. Let me know a little bit more about that so I can share it with people. I've never bought a bottle on board, but that's really cool. I know you like your bottles of Fireball. I've heard that before. So let's see here. Okay, great. Um, Tacos Rock says you have a good tip. Write it down for me so I can't miss it. And um, over there in the cockpit, hubby will watch for your tip, okay? Anything, what? You guys, there's a lot of comments coming in today, so please bear with us. While I read some tips and questions from subscribers, my husband's gonna go back and do a little sweep, and we're gonna look and see what kind of questions and tips have come in that I've missed. So hang in there, okay? 
here we go. Um, so one of the things I wanted to let you guys know about first is a tip from a subscriber that came in this week about booking hotels. And um, her, this gal's name is Angela Hendy, and Angela works in the hotel industry and has an incredible bit of information for you guys on, on hotels. And of course, most of us use um, pre-cruise and post-cruise hotels, so we want to know about this. Here we go. Angela says, I work in hospitality and the travel agents get commissionable rates from hotels, cruise lines, etc. I'm lucky enough to have a cousin who's a cruise travel agent and book through her for a little win-win. A little tips on hotels, though. If you see a less expensive rate, either through an agent or a site like Expedia, call the hotel. This is the part you want to tune into. Chances are they will either match, potentially with better cancellation terms and less ha hassle for changes, or beat the rates as they, are, um, they will no longer be paying the commission, I'm assuming to places like Expedia, which is usually around 10%. Of course, there are exceptions, namely the blind booking tools where you put in a price and get assigned a hotel randomly. She's talking about places like Priceline.com, you guys, or Advanced purchase rates. For hotels, these are hands-off and can't be matched. I think that that's really good advice from Angela, you guys. It's extremely um, scary when you book through a site that um, where you get a good discount, but then you, you lose your cancellation ability. I don't like that, so I think that we all need to kind of think about that and heed Angela's advice. Question from Sharon C., from earlier in the week, Sharon wants to know if I get the drink package. If not, how much do I typically spend on drinks? They're trying to decide for their New Year's Eve cruise. Sharon, I don't typically book the drink package. I actually have never booked it. Um, I have talked to a lot of people before about the drink package and I think you have to do the math. So you have to think about the daily price of the package and how many drinks you normally drink per day and decide if it's worth it and figure out the average cost of a drink on your your particular ship. So for me, I'd figured out that I would have to drink, I wanna say it was something like um, eight to 11 drinks a day to make it worth it and that is way, way more than I would ever drink. On a normal day, I probably drink somewhere between two and four drinks. I'm really short, I'm only five foot zero inches tall, so it doesn't take much for me. And I also pack my own wine because we actually do cruise on a pretty strict budget so that we can afford to cruise more times in a year. So I personally do not. The first time I'm ever going to be getting the drink package is I got it as a perk. So we booked for Norwegian Bliss for forever from now. It's like somewhere in 2018. And as part of my booking, I chose the two free perks that I thought would be the best value and the drink package and the dining package were the one that we chose. So I will be trying it for the first time next year, but I will, there's no way I will ever get my money's worth. And part of it's too, because I pack my own wine and that gives me eight free drinks basically throughout the entire cruise. So I save about $80 on drinks the way I look at it, because you know, a glass of wine is going to run you about $10 after you tip on the ship. So Good luck deciding. I know it's very difficult. Some people like to just pay for it in advance and not have to worry about it and feel like they can drink what they want. Also remember that in addition to the alcohol, most cruise lines include the water, the coffees, um, the mocktails, the bottled water, things like that, just not delivered by room service. So I hope that that helps you. Okay, um, let's see here. Adam De Silva is saying, is it worth booking a cruise, flight transfers, and hotel all within the cruise line? Adam, sometimes it is. I've, I've heard really good things about doing this with Princess Cruises. They have this thing called Easy Air, where you can book your, um, your flight as well. I don't know if they if they always offer pre-stay hotels, but I think that they do. And I did some research on Princess's Easy Air program and I find I found their flights to be identical prices to the ones that I researched on my own. So sometimes it is worth it. I think that you should definitely do that. Um, okay, so let's read through a few more things here and help our subscribers out, you guys. Ali Del Rey, who I know is here today, sent me a message earlier this week saying she's having a hard time understanding what she needs to tip for and how much. Is the tip included in casual dining and dinner dining? Also, I know it's important to dress for dinner, but is a tux required? Okay, so let's talk about the dress code really fast, Ali. We've done a lot of different episodes on this before, so definitely go back and look at our dress code types of episodes. We have a Royal Caribbean dress code episode that 
that really is a good one to cover all the cruise lines. But as a general rule, for formal nights for your um, your boyfriend, yes, he could wear a nice shirt, slacks, and dress shoes. If he can add a tie to the mix, that'd be awesome, but he will do okay with a collared nice shirt, slacks, and dress shoes. That will be fine. He does not have to wear a tux, but he can if he wants to. That's possible. You have to let me know what cruise line you're going on to. All right, Allie, here is how tipping works. And then I'm going to read a subscriber tip today as well to help you answer the, quest the question about additional tips. You're going to be charged a per person per day um, tip rate to your cabin that covers pretty much everybody on board. Okay, so your, your, the tip that you pay the cruise line is going to cover your, um, your stateroom steward and the dining staff and a lot of people behind the scenes. So the places that you're going to tip additionally, you don't really need to worry about a ton of them, by the way. There's not a lot of extra tipping that happens on a cruise, okay? You're going to be tipping um, your luggage porters. You're automatically going to be charged a tip when you buy a drink. And really, there's not a whole lot of other tipping areas you need to worry about. But I am going to read you a subscriber tip from Jim Zimmerlin, who has his own YouTube channel and does a lot of cruise-related stuff, by the way. Um, and here's what Jim says. This is just a really killer explanation of tipping. He says, a small tip, $1 per bag for the porter that takes your bag on embarkation day is appropriate. Same thing on disembarkation day if you use a porter. Okay, so think $1 per bag if somebody takes your luggage from your car or your shuttle to the cruise ship for you. They probably will. Um, tip anyone that goes way out of their way to treat you special. Remember that your mandatory gratuities automatically tip your stateroom steward, dining room waiters, and bar staff. So there's no need to tip them in cash unless one of them goes above and beyond a normal level of service. If you're staying in a high-end suite, tip your butler and concierge if they go out of their way to help you. So I hope that that helps. So on board, Ali, you don't need to worry about tipping in casual dining venues. You certainly can. Sometimes we'll leave a dollar or two on the buffet table if someone is exceptionally great in helping us out at the buffet or casual dining areas, but it's absolutely not required. Um, I was trying to think of another tipping area that I that I had in my mind, and it just it just escaped me for a moment. So I'll come back to it a little bit later if I can think about it. But but try not to worry too much. You're going to be just fine. Um, you do need to take some dollar bills and small bills, like ones, fives, and tens, though, for going ashore, and then tip accordingly when you're going ashore. Okay, let's see here. Let's go ahead and catch up. I can see that we have a lot of questions coming in here. Um, Shannon Smith says they also tip the bartender when they get on the ship. It helps to get better service if you're wanting to frequent that bar all the cruise. So yeah, you can definitely do this. I've heard um, Tommy from Always Be Booked say the same thing. You know, you find a bartender that you connect with right when you get on the ship and you kind of form a little relationship with them, slip them a five, a 10 or a 20 or whatever and keep going back to that person and maybe you'll have particularly delicious drinks the entire time. So hopefully that helps you. Oh, Darcy, you just reminded me of what I forgot. Darcy's sharing a tip. We tipped for each of the two room service continental breakfasts we ordered. That's the tip I forgot. Thank you, Darcy. Yes, give a dollar or two to room service each time that they bring you your order. It doesn't need to be a lot, but a little bit goes a long way, and they really do appreciate that. Okay, cruising with wheels on the tipping topic says they make up a few thank you notes with $5 in it each. If someone goes over above and beyond, we hand them the note. That's really nice that you have that ready and it includes a note. I'm sure people really appreciate that. Okay, got it. Let's see here. Okay, Slasher wants to know what are the best cruise lines for included meals, like free restaurants. They all they all have included meals and and not really free restaurants, but you know included with your cruise fare types of restaurants. Um, and food is very subjective. I really prefer not to comment too much on which cruise lines have the best food because. To be quite honest with you, what I think about food is going to be different from somebody else's. So just know that with the mass market cruise lines or the mainstream cruise lines, if you want to call them that, Carnival, Holland America, Princess, Norwegian, and Royal Caribbean, they all include a massive amount of free food. So you pick. Um, watch YouTube videos, food slideshows, and call it, call it for yourself, okay? All right, let's see here. Um, Suzy Q has a tip on paying cash. Um, Suzy Q likes to pay cash on their account during the cruise. When they close out the account the night before, they don't have anything on their credit card on file. Come off the ship with no money is due. Good for you for being debt-free, Suzy Q. That is awesome. Very good. 
Okay, let's see here. Ginger is exp uh, expanding a little bit more on the tips. Cash tips go directly to the person and tips on sailing card go to a pot shared by everyone in that department. Okay, let's see here. Um, let's see, Mass Blast is saying, hi from hot Las Vegas. Oh, I'm sorry, it's hot over there today. Are there a large variety of drinks for people who can't have alcohol? Oh my goodness, yes. There's so many different types of drinks from um, blended coffee drinks to incredibly good mocktails. They're gonna be a little bit expensive, four, five, six dollars a piece sometimes, but of course you're gonna have sodas and things like that. Most cruise lines offer included lemonade and iced tea and water in your cruise fare. You'll find that in the buffets and all the restaurants. Also, juices in the morning are included and, and generally they're not charged for at the breakfast hours in most of the main dining venues. So that's a good tip for you as well. Hope that that helps. Strawberry Lady says we tip anyone who handles our luggage. Yes, excellent. Very good. Okay, let's see here. Um, <laughs> always be booked has a funny tip. Load a Tupperware up at the buffet and avoid late night room service. Tommy, do you really take Tupperware on your cruises? I'd like to see that in your suitcase. I think that's really funny. Okay, let's see here. Um, yeah, but I know you guys, I'm having trouble keeping up today too. There are a ton of people here in the live stream. So thank you for your patience. We're gonna work on this. Suji has a money saving tip. Pay attention to your cruise personalizer as they run specials on photos and bonus internet package. Awesome, awesome tip, Sue. We definitely wanna talk about that. Um, so let's talk for a second, you guys, about the major, what are the major money suckers on a cruise? I think they're, it's boiled down to about five or six things. You got the casino, spa, drinks, shore excursions, which I, I don't, it's not that you shouldn't go on shore, shore excursions, but you have to watch the price, and photos. So those are kind of the big things that you have to watch for. And I really love the tip that she just gave on, um, you know, watching for those, um, those photo packages. Here's an example of how a photo package could benefit you. On one of our last Princess Cruises for $99, I believe it was $99, they had an all, like an all-inclusive photo package where you could get every single photo from your entire cruise for $99. You guys, every single photo, every formal photo was $24. So if you had bought four formal seated posed photos, you could get all of those and just dozens more. So I would recommend that if you do get a photo package, make sure you take advantage of it. Plan it out. Go get those formal <laughs> seatings. Get the casual photos taken everywhere. Really max out that ability. Um, Another great money-saving spa tip, you guys, is to book a spa tour, or excuse me, a spa tour, a spa treatment, I'm sorry, on a port day. Um, on port days, they reduce the prices greatly because everybody is off the ship, so you'd want to watch for that in your newsletter, okay? Another um, tip about the casino. Hey, maybe Tommy from Always Be Booked can tell us his, some tips on saving money in the casino. Maybe Tommy will just say stay away from the casino. <laughs> I don't know, but um, obviously the slots and the, the pay Payouts on cruise ships, from what I hear, are not as generous. So we, um, we definitely want to urge everyone to be really careful. But then again, you can probably get some good loyalty perks if you, you know, get a casino card or something like that. David has a tip for saving money on a cruise, and that's to get a guaranteed room option. He said, the guaranteed room option on Princess was great. I booked and paid for the highest grade ocean view room, thinking any upgrade will be a balcony room. And they were upgraded to a Carib deck balcony room. That is awesome, very good. Paul LaFleur brings Ziploc bags and brings chips and cookies back to the room. I like it, sounds good. Um, let's see here. Um, Bonnie's saying that some ships are now charging for the pool towel they leave in your cabin if you don't return it. Yeah, you gotta be careful about that one, Bonnie. I've heard about that too. Cruising with Wheels recommends you call the casino at sea and ask for free play. Oh, that's cool, I didn't know you could do that. Let's see here. Rhonda books massages on embarkation day. It's a lot cheaper. That is fantastic, very good. All right, let's see here. Um, Steve is saying NCL has interactive photo stations that you can sign into with your Facebook account. What? A simple way of taking a selfie and posting it without using the Wi-Fi package? I didn't know about that. I must not have been on enough new ships, Steve. That's really, really great. Um, Monkey Photo says look for a deck massage. 25 bucks for 15 minutes. I never heard about that. That's an awesome tip. Very cool. Okay, I'm gonna ask Hubby to bring me up to speed on some tips or questions that came in while I was while I was reading. Anything you want me to, to go over? 
Well, we had one a long time ago from Montana Grizz fan. Montana Grizz fan. We're going to get your question or tip. Okay. Attend art auctions and gym presentation on first day for free drinks and a chance to win money. To awesome. Spend on food. Okay, that's so great. And that was Montana who? Montana Grizz Band. Montana Grizz fan said, attend the art at auctions and is it the, the gym, gym tours yeah. for free drinks? And I think you probably mean champagne and cocktails on the first day. That is such a great tip. Thank you so much. That is excellent. Okay, let's see here. I hear, I see another casino tip coming in here from Tacos Rock. If you want free drinks in the casino, play the slot machines first because they give you more points towards drinks than table games. Some people get it after one to two days of playing slots. Okay, great. So it's not like Vegas where you get free drinks right away, right? You have to earn it. Steven Kyle is offering that most of the time they have sales on t-shirts in the shops on the last day of the cruise. That is an excellent tip. Okay. Um, Ainsley Thomas wants to know where I sail out of when I go on Alaska cruise all over the place, Seattle, San Francisco. We've done, we've done Seattle and San Francisco. Those are kind of your choices. They're, um, those are the nice places. Let's see here. Great. Okay. Any other um, questions or tips you want me to share? Yeah. Let's, since Ali Del Rey got so excited, she says, OMG, she mentioned me, yay. Let's mention her again and say, any tips about what I should do in Cozumel? Okay, Ali Del Rey wants to know, any tips about what to do in Cozumel? Oh my gosh, Ali, I feel, I feel so bad because everybody who comes to these live streams repeatedly hears me tell you what I've done in Cozumel, and that is to go to the beach club called Nachi Kakom. We also mentioned it last night on our little pop-up live stream. It's a beach club, all-inclusive, about 55 bucks a day per person, all you can drink, eat, and a great beach. You take a cab to get there, but there are tons of other beach clubs um, on Cozumel that you can you can go to. There's Mr. Sancho's, and there's tons of others. There's Chonkanob, which is more of a snorkeling area. Um, there's just dozens. So what I would tell you about Cozumel is whatever you do, do something. Don't just walk around and shop. It's a huge mistake. It's great to do after you do a tour, but you really need to go see the island. See, take a tour of the island if you do nothing else. Hopefully that will help you. Okay, Sharon wants to see an Alaskan packing video, exactly what I'm bringing. Sharon, your wish is my command. I will do that for you in a couple of months before we go to Alaska. We'll absolutely do that. I will do the, um, the, the what's in my bag style packing for you. You got it, my pleasure. I would love to do that. Okay, let's see here. What do we have? Oh, okay, Cynthia has a Cozumel tip. Oh, I love this tip, Cynthia. Rent a car for $75 and go all over the island. That is my kind of a day. I don't like crowded excursions and I think that would be wonderful. Um, Ainsley, a lot of people are commenting on what to do in Nassau in the live chat. So scroll up and take a look because I haven't done a whole lot other than go to um, Atlantis for the day in Nassau, but I'm thinking a lot of tips are coming in today. So go ahead and check it out. Um, let's see here. Okay. All right, Paul has a money-saving tip. To save a week of parking charges, book back-to-back -back cruises. That's funny, Paul. That's a silver lining, right? That's what you're gonna save the money on is the the back-to-back um, -back cruises. Well, I think that's a good tip. I know, unfortunately, I pay $16 a day in the parking lot in my home port, so that would be, you know, kind of double money for us. Okay, sounds good. Wesley, your friend is with you and saying hi. Hi, Alexa. I know that you want me to say hello. Good to see you here today. Thank you so much. Sydney has a tip for money saving. Bring a 12 pack of your favorite soda on during embarkation day if that's what you like to drink. Austin wants some Alaska excursion um, suggestions. Yes, there's so much to do in Alaska, um, Austin. In Juneau, we love going to Mount Roberts on the tram and we loved going to Mendenhall Glacier. That's a good one for you. Um, in Skagway, I highly recommend the White Pass Rail Excursion. Also, you definitely want to go back and watch our Alaska live stream. We covered every single port. We talked about excursions for a full hour. Make sure you go look for that. If you can't find it, send me a message and I'll give you a link, okay? Sounds great. Okay. Um, Sarah wants, uh, is from England and wants some advice on their first cruise to the fjords. Sarah, I've never been to the fjords, but my advice for first time cruisers is always to make sure that you book some activities or excursions in each port. Book your cruise early, relax, have fun, watch our packing videos for lots of great tips and just get familiar with our channel for lots more. It's hard for me to give you tips here because I don't know a whole lot about you, but we're gonna, we'll stick together and we'll help you, we'll help you get some good tips before you go, okay? I promise, let's see here. 
All right. Um, Tara wants to know if anybody has any Freeport excursion ex uh, suggestions. Um, Catherine wants to know if Carnival Cruise gives towels at ports. They give towels, Catherine, on the ship that you can take to the ports. They'll be waiting for you most likely in your stateroom and they're beach towels that you can take to the pool, you can take to the beach, you can do whatever you want. Just make sure that they don't leave the ship when your cruise is over. All right, Mike and Cheryl have another tip. For a different savings perspective, buy the cruise insurance. If you ever have to cancel, you receive the money back. Mike and Cheryl, that's really good advice. Um, Charbonneau wants to know, all nights shall be in formal dress? No. Most cruises that are seven to ten nights have two formal nights. The rest are going to be what's probably called cruise casual, which would be, uh, gr varies greatly. So go back and watch our dress, our dining room dress code um, videos for a little more advice on that. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Any others that you want um, me to talk about? So let's get back to the tips real quick. Okay, tips, great. If you, if you haven't already covered it, mm -hmm. Sydney gives a good estimate for the drink packages. Sydney okay. Forrester says, uh -huh. if you like to have five drinks, so you got a, a real number there, mm -hmm. beer, wine, or cocktails per day on average, get the drink package. Okay, Sydney says, guys, for the drink package, if you need to, if you like to have five drinks a day, the package might be worth it. I don't know where I got eight to ten, Sydney, but you're probably right because if they're ten dollars each and it's fifty bucks a day, yeah, that's probably true. Did you, um, did you see Paul LaFleur mention doing back-to-back? -back yeah, we talked about that. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Caleb is asking, he said, I know you guys aren't asking for donations, but will you ever get a Patreon or something for us? Um, you know what, Caleb, we talked about this a couple weeks ago, too. We really, right now, we want to focus on earning our own revenue through um, YouTube and through our sponsors. We really aren't super comfortable with the idea of Patreon um, because we're, we're here to earn our money. We're kind of an old-fashioned, hard-working family. And some, it's something right now that we're really not comfortable with. Um, thank you for asking about it. We do consider it. People ask us quite often. The best ways that you can support Cruise Tips TV are by watching our videos, giving us a thumbs up on our videos, and shopping in our Amazon marketplace if you shop on Amazon. Um, we do receive some royalties from Amazon for the products that we sell out of our store. And if you start your shopping trip on Amazon through our marketplace, that will come directly to us and it is incredibly helpful. And we do so appreciate that. But keep watching our videos and support our sponsor, CruiseLine.com. Go visit their site using the link in our comments below so that they know that the sponsorship is working and that our partnership is working. So those are the ways that we would love for you to help us out right now. And thank you for asking. That's very kind. Yes. We don't want to make it about the money. Mm -hmm. My husband just said the most important thing. He said, we don't want to make it about the money. Um, this Cruise Tips TV is our passion. This is our, this is what we love to do. Um, in, and we don't ever want it to be about donations or money. We want it to be about you guys. We want it to be driven by the content that you want, and we don't want to favor someone who's giving us money over someone who isn't or anything like that. But with that said, we do appreciate the ways that you can support us. But really, you know, hang out with us here, thumbs up all the time, shop in our Amazon marketplace, and just show us the love. That's the best way that you can help us. So thank you so much for... Um, for bringing that up. Zachary says, what does everyone do during sail away? I love that question, Zachary. Um, it was really funny, Zachary, on our last cruise, my husband and I, we wanted to be like in two places at once on sail away. My husband wanted to film from the balcony so that we could get the um, a time lapse of our sail away. And that's what I normally like to do too, but I really wanted to go to the deck party this time. So we decided to find a way to do both. Um, my husband stayed in the room <laughs> on the balcony and he got the time lapse. I went up and danced at the deck party for a while and said hello to some people that, um, some subscribers that I met that day. And then I kind of rushed back to the room and enjoyed a little bit of the balcony sail away too. So that's what I like to do, but let's see what everybody else likes to do. Um, Sydney likes to relax, have a drink and enjoy. Um, <laughs> David said, if we ever see you all on a cruise, we owe you drinks. Oh, thanks David. No, I just, I just want to hug. I'm a hugger, so if I see you on a cruise, that's what you're getting for sure. Ask the, all the folks that we saw on the last one. Um, Catherine wants to know if mustard drill is a buzzkill. That is so funny. Um, yeah, it is a buzzkill because, like, okay, let's just let's just talk about it. You get on the ship, you're all elated, and you know you've you've gone to your room, you're exploring the ship, and then all of a all of a sudden, three thirty or four o'clock. 
roll around and it's like, okay, stop dead in your tracks, possibly grab your life jacket, go to a boring <laughs> room or, or on our last cruise it was the, the pool deck and stand there forever. But in all seriousness, it varies a lot. Some of them are very quick and efficient. If you watched our day one vlog of our Carnival Miracle cruise, we kind of made a joke about it. Um, we were like, you know, God, this is going on forever. But in reality, it was a very smooth muster drill. And, you know, once it's over, everybody just kind of goes back to doing what they do. And, and you know, it's a necessity. Everybody's got to consider safety first. So thank you. Um, let's see here. Yes, the, sa the, the muster drill is mandatory, Catherine. Don't try to hide under the bed or in the bathroom. It won't work. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, okay. Let's see here, guys. Let's go back to our um, tips and uh, questions that have been coming in this week. Um, what do we have here? Oh, okay, you guys. Jeff P. had a question about um, needing non-biodegradable or, or needing um, biodegradable sunscreen for an excursion in Cozumel. Yes, in the Yucatan Peninsula, Jeff, I've always had that same issue. We've always had to buy biodegradable sunscreen when going on excursions there. If you're going to Eshkeret or Shelha or anywhere, they want you to protect their reefs and their corals and they want you to get biodegradable sunscreen. Unfortunately, I've been that, the sucker who always buys it at the place that I'm doing the excursion because I didn't pack it because it's not that easy to find in the US. So our awesome subscriber, Brittany, over on Facebook gave us a link to a really good sunscreen and it's called, um it's called Tropical Sands, and it's an all-natural SPF 30 coconut-scented biodegradable reef-safe sunscreen. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to link to it in our Amazon Marketplace, cruisetipstv.com forward slash marketplace. Look for a little brown bottle that looks like this, and we will get it linked up there, too. What I'll also do is share that link on Facebook. So if you follow us there, you can click straight through and you don't have to go browsing through it. So thank you very much, Brittany, for that awesome um, tip if you're here. And Jeff, I hope that that answers your question. Um, Angela wants to know if we've ever done Dunn's River Falls and do I have any tips that I need to know? Yes, um, Angela, my first cruise was um, a high school graduation present. I think I was maybe 17. And my mom and my, my brother and I did Dunn's River Falls, and um, I, I don't want to do it again. I didn't really like it because of one thing, and everybody's going to tell you the same thing. It is so jam-packed. And if you do not like the idea of holding hands with people for an hour to walk up the waterfall, you probably don't want to do it. But if that doesn't bother you at all and you don't mind the crowds, um, go for it. I think it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I think you need to try it. It can be quite strenuous. So you can go up halfway up the falls and then escape and walk back down on the trail that's on the side of the falls if you get too tired. You must have water shoes or tennis shoes. Another thing I want to tell you about that is that an awesome review of Dunn's River Falls was just posted by Doug Parker on the cruise radio, on one of his recent cruise radio podcasts. So go to cruiseradio.net and search for his, um, one of the more recent ones. It was actually, I think it was one of his cruise reviews where he went to Dunn's Fall on a cruise. So look for the cruise review and you can see that there. I think that that's probably, um, the best advice I can give you. He gives a really vivid description of what it was like, but it is cool. It's just really, really crowded. I mean, we're talking hundreds, if not thousands of people. Okay, let's see what other questions are coming in here. Um, let's see here. Do you have any other for me? Well, I got a couple old ones. Joy Spirit said, I buy a bottle of wine on the first night at dinner. Uh -huh. We store it for you and bring it each <gasps> night until finish. Love that. Was that Joey? No, Joyce. Joyce has a tip, you guys. Joyce buys her bottle of wine on the first night and then um, mentioned that the dining room staff will take it to your table every night subsequently so you don't have to buy a glass of wine every night. That is an excellent tip. It's a really nice perk, and a lot of people don't know about it, but you will see them put it in that one of those fancy wine containers. They put your name on it, they store it in the back, and they bring it right to your table for you know so you can have your um, your second one. Uh, let's see here. Somebody's asking me what my cocktail is today. It's not a cocktail. It's definitely a mocktail. And it is LaCroix because I always drink LaCroix with a splash of grapefruit juice. I love grapefruit anything. I'm totally into it right now. It sounded refreshing. Good way to stay hydrated. So my husband made it for me right before I sat down. Thank you for asking. All right. 
Bethany said, if we have the earliest window for Carnival Stagger check-in, 11 a.m., how early should we arrive? Bethany, don't get there before 10.30. Nothing will be happening. Um, you'll just get hot and frustrated and tired of sitting around. 10.30 is my golden time if you have 11 a.m. check-in. I don't think you're going to get on the ship at 11, though. I never get on a ship before 11.30, 11.45 here on the West Coast. Um, but we'll see. Let's see here. Okay. Audrey said that Badger brand sunscreen at TJ Maxx is amazing. That's awesome. Um, Barbara said, I'm taking a cruise in November on Harmony. Can I still find a travel agent or is it too late? No, you can definitely still find a travel agent, Barbara. Are you already booked though? You may be able to transfer your booking to a travel agent if you haven't made final payment. So it's not too late. If you need a few recommendations on travel agents, let me know. We know many of them here on the channel and happy to tell you a little bit more about it. Um, Catherine Karen said, is the spa worth it on Carnival? Sometimes, Catherine, it's definitely not where I spend my money. I'm, we are budget cruisers. We do not spend a lot of money on board. Usually my final tab at the end is a couple of hundred dollars at the most. In fact, the most I have ever spent on a one week cruise was $700. And that to me was like a million bucks. It was way too much. So I'm, I'm a cheapskate and I don't, I don't go to the spa unless I get a killer deal on a port day type of um, uh, spa treatment. Okay, Shannon, I love that tip on Schorfer Hoffer Grapefruit Hefeweizen. Oh, that sounds so good. Thank you. That sounds like what I'll, what I'll buy for my summer barbecues. Sounds fantastic. Okay, ooh, Sue G, one of my favorite tips. Eat at the specialty restaurant on the first day for free wine. Yes, and Sue, you can see us doing that, literally watch us doing that in our day one Carnival Miracle vlog that we posted on Thursday. Was it Thursday, honey? I think it was Thursday. So we did the same thing. It's so great. Complete free bottle of wine. I know it's not the most fancy bottle of wine, but I don't care. I'm not that picky. Um, Denara May wants to know if we have any money saving tips for solo cruisers. Maybe some cruise lines have cheaper balconies. Denara May, that's great. Norwegian is coming out with some excellent solo cruising balconies. You definitely need to check those out. Tommy from Always Be Booked is saying the same thing. Norwegian's newer ships have studio staterooms, so be sure to check that out. Very cool. Okay, Alicia, thank you so much for supporting us. I appreciate that. That is an awesome way to support us. Um, did you, do we want to show them the t-shirt again today, honey? Um, I can go get it. Yeah, yeah. okay, so you guys, um, last night on our random live stream, we showed everybody all of the merchandise that we have right now that we've been wanting to review. And one of the things that you have all asked us for a really long time to do is to create some merchandise to sell that has our logo on it. So we did our first experiment with this. My husband made a design that goes on the back with our logo on the front and we ordered a mock-up of the um, t-shirt and we had it sent to the house. We're really not ready to sell it yet because we're still trying to get feedback on it, but we do want to show it to you. It, Why do you have the snorkel mask because with you? Because somebody asked what oh. brand. Oh, it's snorkel and gear. So whoever asked what the brand for the snorkel mask is, I was really funny. I thought my husband was wanting me to put on the snorkel mask. And I'm like, yeah. oh my God, you don't really want me to do that. Okay, the brand for the snorkel mask, hopefully you can see it right here. It's called snorkel and gear. And I think we put it in our Amazon marketplace. We'll we, double we check that. Because it's sold out and hasn't come back. Okay, so this one sold out and hasn't come back. My husband said he wasn't able to put it in the marketplace. So we'll keep an eye on it. We got this on a lightning deal. And so it was really, really cheap. $39. Um, yeah, yeah. $39? Yeah. That is like half of what they normally cost. Okay, so you guys want to see the shirt? All right, here it is. This is the men's shirt in heather, um, dark heather gray. And as you can see, it has the logo on the front. I can't see myself in the camera over there, honey, so you're gonna have to tell me if you can see the logo. Okay, there's the logo on the front. Okay, simple, basic, right? And then the back of the shirt looks like this. Some of you who were already on the live stream last night saw this, but this is our first design and it has words. So I'm gonna hold it up for you and let you see that. Is there a spider you're trying to kill over there, pal? Okay, so here it is. My husband's stomping on a spider, you guys. Okay, here it is. Okay, so it says, I spent all my money on cruises and foolishly wasted the rest. So this is our more masculine style that we're thinking about. We want your honest feedback on what you think about it. My husband um, thinks that everyone's going to hate it because he designed it. And of course, he's self-critical. So tell us what you think. Um, Crystal said, what is your Amazon Marketplace website? It is, um, it is cruisetipstv.com 
forward slash marketplace. Thank you. Dawn loves the shirt. Emma loves the shirt. Cruising with wheels wants two. Okay, you guys like it. Now, do you think that the design is a little bit too big on the back? Um, somebody said yesterday that they want the design shrunk down. My husband thought so too. Here it is again. I wish I could have my husband wear it. We tried to put it on him and have him like shimmy into the into the um, into the the set, if you will. But it looked really weird. Like he would have to like shrink down like this. So anyway, one more time. Here's the design. Is it a little too big on the back? You want it smaller? Okay. Let's see what everybody says. Okay. Okay. Well, all right. Brandy said it's cute and bright and fun and funny. Good job, hubby. Okay. So. Um, maybe what we'll do is get this particular shirt up into our Amazon marketplace. We're going to advertise it all over Facebook. So you guys, please, if you can follow us on Facebook at cruise tips TV, because that is the easiest place. Elisa, I can't do a V neck for women yet. Amazon merchandise only offers traditional t-shirts for men and women, which is a bummer because guess what? I don't wear t-shirts, I don't like them. So I want tank tops, I want hoodies, I want polo shirts, but we're not there yet. So let us maybe shrink the design down a little bit, get some multiple colors up for you, men's, women's, and children's. I wanna explain how much they cost to you guys, and I wanna tell you that this is not a money-making thing for us, okay? The shirts are $19.99, I think. Um, yeah, right. And we are royalty on each, each shirt is $3, so this is not a money-making adventure for us. Adventure. <laughs> Venture. It helps, but I don't. we don't ever, ever want to overcharge for things. So that is the baseline that we're allowed to charge at Amazon. We are not raising the price over that. We just want to have something to share with everybody. Okay. Um, so Strawberry Lady wants plus sizes for women. Thank you so much for bringing that Bringing that up, I will check on Amazon and see if they have plus sizes. Um, do you know if they have plus sizes? I do not, but I do want to say that uh -huh. the thing with Amazon is it just allows us to test the waters. And, okay. And like you said, it's not a money-making thing. It's sure. just kind of a fun thing. Okay. And if there's a, a huge amount of interest, we'll have to find somebody else to yes. do this because Amazon is just not flexible. Okay, you guys probably heard all of that from my husband. Um, Amazon is a way for us to test the waters with the merch. Um, it, it's really hard to find a provider that will ship to you guys and doesn't require that we ship it from our home, which is something that would be really difficult to do. So we're going to try this out and see how everybody likes it. And then we're going to try to find a provider that offers more. I was even looking this morning on Vistaprint and they seem to have this program, like a partner program where we can get things made for you there, like magnets, mugs. Somebody else suggested one of our subscribers wanting things, items with our logos on them. And I would totally agree. What's that? We gotta find the quality too. Yeah, we gotta find quality. I would, um, yeah, Sam S said I would prefer a tank top and girly colors. Sam, me too. I'm not, I'm not gonna wear a t-shirt. I do not wear them. I feel like I like put something on to wear to bed and it's just not who I am. So um, I know you guys want my husband to have a microphone or seeing notes about that. This comes up all the time. So um, it's difficult because we're live streaming to you right now. Believe it or not, having two mics is kind of a problem. It's just another level of complexity. One more yeah. thing I have to check. Yeah, it's another, it makes it more complex and it, it brings in more problems. So we're gonna try that, but he's trying to shout for you, okay? So let's see what we have here. Um, let's see here. Patty wants to know if I use a lanyard, and if so, do I wear a fashionable one or a basic one? Oh, Patty, that's a fun question. Right now, I use a basic one. I um, I got one on Princess that I love that has a little um, it has a little compartment in it with a zipper that I can put my cruise card, my chapstick, and like some hand sanitizing wipes in it. So there's fancy ones for sale on board though. And you know who else sell, sells lanyards? Is um, Home Depot. They have lanyards. I don't know why, but we got my sons there. Um, Steve Roth has another money-saving tip I want to read. Booking ahead gives you flexibility in case changes need to be made. Steve's um, cruise, you guys, was recently canceled due to a charter, and he had booked so early that he actually ended up having a really positive experience with rebooking on a better ship, Norwegian Bliss, which I will say is better because I'm going on it. Um, but, yeah, that's... Um, that's an awesome tip. Thank you so much. Yes, I want to do N. Wilkie um, one. I want to do door magnets for cruise doors. We love that. Yes, yes, yes. Um, somebody asked if the shirts are only available in black. No, Deb, they're not. There are lots of fun colors. In fact, we're going to have pink ones in the women's store. We're going to have basic colors too. We're going to do, I believe we're going to try to do gray. So light heather gray, dark heather gray, black. And in the women's store, we're going to add pink and maybe a few other fun colors. That's one thing that Amazon does really well is that they um, 
they um, offer a lot of basic colors. Someone said if they can have get a shirt by July 1 when you set sail, yeah, if you're motivated, we'll get motivated. We'll get this going for you and get it up. Um, we'll get the, we're gonna shrink the design down a little bit and then I think we're going to, um, to try to do a few other basic designs so you have lots of choices. Some of them that are a little more simple that just have our logo and website, for example. Um, I'm seeing a question here that I don't understand and I wanna make sure, who posted the question about the staff idea on the back? Mike and Cheryl, um, did I miss that? Tell me what you mean by the staff idea because I wanna hear that. Yes. We really want your feedback. Would that be like Cruise Tips Jeff TV P. staff? Jeff P said get a shirt that says staff. Might get some special perks. I like it. Jeff, do you want it to say like Cruise Tips TV staff or something? We um, we made one for my husband that says film crew and it's really cool. I think you guys would really like it. So I was thinking about having one made that's kind of like this on the front. So it has the regular logo, but then on the back it has our website and it'll say in big letters, fun crew, Cruise Tips TV, see you on the high seas. Do you guys like that? With no, maybe no image on the back. So it's really hard, you guys. I mean, it's just, it's tough because we wanna please everybody. So we're gonna try to do a whole bunch of designs for you, okay? Bonnie wants to know if the medallions are being used already. No. Um, you mean the princess medallions? Not yet, they're not released yet. This November. Um, okay, let's see. Michael said that the lanyards at Carnival sells are a ripoff. Yeah, you can get them on board sooner. Oh, okay. Um, Mike and Cheryl said it should say staff on the back. People will buy it. Okay, well, we'll see what we can do. That's a really fun idea. Um, Santa, you want to get some perks? I know, right? Isn't that hilarious? I like it. I think that'd be really cute. We'll do something like that. Okay, got it. Um, Cootie said one way to handle multiple microphones is to have a mic switch. Press a button when he wants to talk. That's a good idea. Brandy, I'll try to get them ready for you before June 29th. It, the sh once we get the shirts up, they only take about a week to get to you, okay? So we'll see what we can do, you guys. Um, I am really, really excited about the fact that you like the shirt and that there's a lot of interest out there. It's so much fun. So what do you say that when we get the shirts and you guys go on cruises with them, that you send me your photos of you wearing them and we'll do something special with those. Does that sound fun? I think that's, that's something we should do. So let me know, you guys, if you have any more questions that you want me to catch for you before we sign off, because we're at the five minute point. Um, let's see here. And so put them in the bottom of the notes so I don't miss them. Tommy has a tip, bring a thermos and use the coffee in the buffet to make your own iced coffee instead of paying five bucks. Tommy, I am impressed with your food and beverage tips today. That's a really good idea. You could do that. You could make iced coffee. So it, does it taste okay with the um, buffet coffee? Sounds pretty good to me. Um, let's see here. Okay, Sarah has a question about, oh, Sarah, it's about my 25 year old daughter again here in England. Which cruise lines are not so kitty heavy apart from Princess? Um, Princess and Celebrity, as far as the mainstream goes, are probably less kid-focused. I know a lot of people have had negative experiences on both just because there's not a lot of kids, not because there's anything wrong with the kids' programs. So, you know, if you have Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, or Carnival, they're a little, there's more kids on board, so they'll have more fun. It's nothing about the programs, though. So let's check and see if we have any other questions coming in. Did you say anything over there, honey? You know, I saw an interesting one from Ginger Johnson. Ginger Johnson, okay. Yeah, she said, can you work with Shipmate app to mm -hmm. create a cruise tips community? Ooh, sure what a fun idea. Is. Ginger, you want to know if we can work with um, Shipmate app? Did you hear him make a noise? Yeah, Should we go check noise. Go check and see he's okay? My son's usually really quiet. He's reading in the back and he made a really dramatic noise, so my husband's going to check on him. Anyway, Ginger, let me check on that. That's really cool. For right now, if you want to follow me on Shipmate or CruiseLine.com, um, my name is Cruise Tips TV, all one word. And sometimes people have a difficult time finding me on Shipmate, so the best thing you can do is look for my reviews and my photos from Carnival Imagination. Is he okay, honey? Uh, oh, oh, it wasn't him. Oh, it was probably the neighbors or a dog or something. Okay, so my Carnival Imagination ship tour, excuse me, review or Star Princess review or photos from Carnival Imagination or Star Princess is how everybody finds me on Shipmate. But I'll ask them about that. That's such a good idea. I love that. Um, 
Uh, DT Harris says, do children get their own cards on board? Yes, they absolutely do. Most cruise lines will punch a hole in them depending on which line you're sailing on. And you definitely should get them a lanyard. One of the first things that I do when I get on the ship is put my son's card on a lanyard because he's gonna lose that sucker if I don't, right? So I put my lanyard in my carry-on bag and we do that immediately. But you can buy them on board, okay? Um, so Mass Bloss said, wanted to post again in case it got missed. Are there cruises from the US mainland to Hawaii? Yes. You can cruise to Hawaii from California. Brandy says, absolutely, you sure can. Holland America sells out of San Diego to Hawaii. So does Princess. Um, there are tons of options. They are long cruises, so they are 14 to 15 nights, five days there, five days on the islands, and five days back. But boy, that would be relaxing. Sounds great. Suji wants to know, um, when is Carnival Miracle leaving Long Beach Port for good? Ooh, I want to say it might be January or December of this year. It's, it's soon, so Splendor will be replacing it. So that's coming up soon. Okay. Um, I think that Diana S. has a question here. Upcoming Alaska Princess Cruise has staggered boarding times by deck. Theirs is 2 to 2.30. Is that typical? And will we be able to go directly to our room since it's late? Yes. Diana, your room is likely on Princess. It is likely to be ready after 1.30, so you should be fine. Okay? Hopefully that will work for you. Um, Wanda Rolfing said, is the cruise ticket the same price for kids as adults? Yes, usually it is. The way that the cruise lines charge is that they charge the same rate for first and second passenger in a stateroom, and for third and fourth and maybe even fifth passenger, they pay a reduced rate. So regardless of age, it's not based on age, it's based on whether you're the first, second, third, or fourth passenger in the room. Hope that that helps you. Um, let's see here. Ethan says, any tips on getting to crown and anchor level faster? I don't have a whole lot of tips on that right now, Ethan, without having to do some research. I would have to check on that for you, okay? Let's see. Any other questions coming in? Oh, Car uh, Carrie wants to know if we'll be going on the Splendor when it gets here. We probably will, Carrie, but we have a lot of cruises booked out already right now, which is kind of unusual for us. We're usually more last minute bookers, but we have stuff booked all the way through 2018 right now. And Splendor isn't one of them yet, but I have been working with Carnival and looking at that because they have this crazy balcony um, that I want to book that's like a, it's kind of like an aft wrap balcony, but you don't have to pay a sweet price for it. So I'm thinking about it, but we have so many other things we're doing right now. I need to save money before we can commit to that, but we'll try to get on Splendor for you because I would love to. It was an awesome ship last time we went on it. Um, bye, Bonnie. Say hi to Princess for me and, and enjoy your day. Um, Let's see, uh, video fan 1010 said, how can people arrange sending gifts on your room if they aren't going on the cruise? You can definitely get to the cruise line website and have gifts sent to your friends and family. It's very easy to do. You just need to know the date that they're cruising and their name and they'll help you figure out the rest. You can send anything from um, flowers to food, chocolate dipped strawberries, beverages, gift cards for the spa, gift cards for the ship, photo packages, you name it, it is an awesome idea. Um, thank you guys so much for all, for all coming. It is getting close to time to say goodbye to anyone. I think we probably missed a few questions today. A lot, a lot of questions. Oh, we have, okay, well then let's stay longer. Is that okay with you, cockpit? Um, Do we have good battery life in the? It depends on what YouTube thinks. Okay, so if YouTube cuts us off, you guys, don't be surprised, but we're gonna go for a few more minutes and answer some more questions. Yeah, let's see 10 minutes. Okay, 10 more minutes. Go ahead and read me some questions. I'm ready. I'm going to take a drink here first. Okay. Well, Beth, did you cover Bethany Meyer's money-saving tip about finding lots of cruise travel stuff at the Dollar Tree? Oh, okay. Bethany said, you guys, to look for um, cruise travel items at the Dollar Tree. We're actually... Um, Really excited about that concept, Bethany, and we're gonna to try to do a dollar store episode. Unfortunately, we went to the closest dollar store to our house. We live in a really small town, so there's nothing near us, um, and it wasn't a very successful experience, so we're gonna find a better dollar store, and then we're gonna do either a live um, dollar store cruise episode, which would be so much fun, or we're gonna to piece together an episode for you, but thank you for the tip, Bethany. I'm ready for the next one. Bring them on. I just spilled my drink a little. We won't tell anybody. <laughs> Um, I, you know, I was just going to answer one from Patty Carr about um, the camera. It's one, one we get a lot, but it's one worth repeating. Would you okay. buy a camera or use your iPhone? Okay. Or, you know. You can cover I'll it. answer that. Okay, Patty wants to know if what kind of camera you should take on your cruise. Should you buy a camera or should you take your iPhone? Patty, 
If you have a newer iPhone, the photo quality is so unbelievably amazing that I recommend you just do that. I would leave your camera at home. My vlogs, our vlogs are filmed 90% on my iPhone. So you can judge for yourself based on that. The camera quality is so incredible. I cannot say enough about iPhones these days. So I would do that. Wanda, no, my drink is not spiked. It's too early in the day. It's just grapefruit juice and club soda. <laughs> You're so funny. I know I'm a, I'm a clumsy one though. I just spill stuff all the time. So yeah. Mine key photo said dream job is a price checker. Okay. I'm ready for my next question. All right. You got one for me? Um, Money saving tips for large groups. Yes, if you're sail if you Emma Kate, if you are going to be sailing with a large group, have your travel agent check on bulk discounts for you. If you have eight or more cabins, sometimes you can get free rooms, free perks, free people sailing. So you need to find a good travel agent and um, and work on that. As far as that's concerned too, Emma Kate, what you need to do is when you're researching your shore excursions, you might want to book your own. Find some private shore excursion companies that can help you charter larger vans and get your whole group into them so that you can save some money. That's probably my best tip for you is when you're doing shore excursions, you probably don't want to book them necessarily with the cruise line. So, okay. Um, Wesley Christie said, any essential oils? Um, no essential oils in my drink today. I forgot. I was just running short on time, but they are so good. My friend Danette, um, introduced me to them very recently and I can tell that I'm going to be addicted to them because they add flavor without sweetness. So if I would have been thinking Wesley Christie, I would have put a drop of lime in my grapefruit juice. It would have been wonderful. Um, Moss Bloss says, if I'm not big into casinos, would I be missing a lot on a cruise? No, I don't gamble. I've actually never ever put a single penny into a slot or done anything in a casino on all of my 20 plus cruises. No. So do not ever worry about that. Some cruise lines are more gambling focused than others, but they're certainly not central to it. Um, Always Be Booked says, did you guys see the new handheld iPhone stabilizer? Saw it on an ad and it's probably great for cruisers. That's awesome, Tommy. I haven't seen an iPhone branded one. Um, is it like a, is it something you screw onto the phone or you like hook on? I wanna check that out because I'm, tr I'm like always in search of the perfect, not selfie stick, but like something that I can use. Do you mean like a stabilizer that you kind of, Gimbal. Yeah, like a gimbal. Let me know. Um, you can private message me too if we run out of time today. I would love to hear about it. My husband's actually like, oh, well, what is we, that? We have, we have, yeah, we have a couple it's of them. It's just all those added things yeah. make it so you're like, oh, I don't want to deal with it. Anymore. I know, I know. And you always, it's like you have to grab the equipment at the last minute to get it attached to and the phone. And that's where I struggle. Yeah, yeah. Things. My husband's like, people stop you and stare at you and ask you when you're putting all this equipment on your phone. But yeah, we definitely try. And do I really care if people stare at me? I don't think I do. Okay, sounds good. Um, PJ, hi PJ. I'm curious if Techie has, Hubby has any ideas on how the terminal check-in computers integrate with the ship. Ooh, I bet he does, but I don't. I think you wouldn't be able to hear him well enough for him to cover it today. So um, we'll have to check on that. You know what was really interesting, PJ? One of our subscribers this week put a really great um, comment on our YouTube channel in response to a video on how the medallion program works in the medallion program. Why did I say that? Medallion, Carnival Cruises medallion that's coming in on Princess. How in layman's terms it works and the beacon process and it's fascinating. So I'm gonna share it sometime soon. So let's see here earlier. Um, DT Harris said, sailing on the imagination, purchase faster to the fun. Embarkation time is 12. Can you get on earlier because of faster to the fun? Yes, you will be the first to board after weddings on Carnival Imagination and after the elite passengers. So one, when they start calling priority boarding, you need to be there before 12. Um, I would get there at 11. You probably won't get on the ship before 12, but be ready. They will take the wedding parties first on Imagination. Then they will board the diamonds and the platinums, and then it'll be you. And it happens really, really fast. Like we're talking sometimes five minutes from the time they start boarding the wedding. So yeah. Okay, um, Thea C wants to know if we've ever taken a Holland America cruise. Yes, we have. Um, we love Holland America. They're just so wonderful. The food is great. They offer, um, last time I cruised with them, they offered premium cappuccino drinks at dinner for free, which I know sounds silly, but it's kind of nice to get a cappuccino with your dessert. Um, just luxurious and wonderful. Um, Charbonneau, what did you want to link to? Let me know. Um, let's see here. 
Oh, they, they were looking for um, um, money saving tips for newbies. Oh, and things. And, and yes. Yeah, we do have an episode on money saving tips and we also have 10 free things to do on a cruise episode that's really great. We'll try to link to that. But um, in our, I'll give you just a sneak peek of what's in that 10 free things video. Um, it's not free, but they're included things. It's, it's to do a personal photo safari where you go around the ship at sunset and take sunset photos. Visit the onboard library for a book or board game. Catch a show in the theater. It's free. Catch a movie in the theater. It's included. Um, go out for ice cream, right? Um, go dancing. These things are all included. Make sure you check the theater movies or pool deck movies. We love watching movies on deck on our cruises. That can be really fun. You can take classes that are included. Um, you can go to the art gallery and sometimes they give you free champagne during art auctions. You can do free galley tours on many cruise lines. And of course you can eat lots and lots of eating on board. So hopefully that helps you. That's, that's my power round of things you can do for, um, for no extra charge. Okay. A couple I want to get to real quick. Okay, a couple questions. Hubby's reading them to me. From Karen and Kiwi, any tricks for Pride of America? I know we haven't been on it, but we put it out there and see if anybody else Oh, knows. tips for Pride of America. Yes. Um, you need to go back and listen to cruiseradio.net's Pride of America reviews. There's a shore excursion tip in there. Um, Cruise Fever uh, went on a sailing on Pride of America and got an all-inclusive excursion package that is super cheap. And so what it what it meant is you'd pay a flat rate and you'd get an excursion at every port and it was so inexpensive. So go find that. Go through cruiseradio.net podcast archives and look for those because they are amazing. I'm ready for the next one. Diana S., this is a really good one. I like this question because it's one of those boring things, but we have to do it. It's okay. about laundry. laundry. Are the laundry facilities on board usually available, meaning mm -hmm. are other people not using them all mm -hmm. the time? Mm -hmm. Is there planning on packing light and doing a load of laundry halfway? Mm -hmm. Okay, Diana, so it depends on what cruise line you're on, but... Um, the yes, the laundromats on cruises, self-serve laundromats, if they have them, are usually quite empty. The exceptions to that are going to be on formal nights when everybody goes in there to iron their clothes because you can't take your own iron on board. So avoid them before formal night. And sometimes on the on sea days towards the end of the cruise, when people's stuff starts to get dirty, they crowd the the washing machines. So they're they're desolate on the first few days of the cruise. So days one through three, midday, morning, get in there, get it done. Okay, sounds good. Any other ones? Yeah, I have one from a really long time ago from Caleb. Hopefully Caleb, Caleb is still out there. Okay, Caleb, if you're still here, we're getting to your question. And he says he booked early to get an onboard credit, mm -hmm. but he's not sure. What is the best way to use it? I thought that was mm -hmm. a really good question. Yeah, Caleb, what's the best way to use your onboard credit? That is such a great question. Um, if it were me, I'd use my onboard credit probably to eat in one of the specialty dining venues or to purchase cocktails. Um, spa treatments can be great, but I find that I burn through the money too fast using, um, you know, using the spa i mean everything's over a hundred dollars pretty much when you go to a spa so i don't like to spend it that way shore excursions are another excellent choice hope that that helps you all right let's see what else do we have here one just came in from Charbonne. oh yeah is i see it i'll read it so you don't have to okay is it impolite to ask in the cruise before anything to do is that for free oh no Charbonne, you can always ask if something is included before you cruise but it'll probably be pretty obvious to you one thing you need to watch out for is when people are walking around on um during sail away with drinks on trays those are not free and they make it kind of look like oh would you like one of these why, yes, I would. Okay, that's $7.95, ma'am. You know, <laughs> so be careful, but usually it will be obvious. Prices will be posted. Don't worry too much. It's going to be okay. Um, you're going you're gonna to work through that just fine. Watch out for mariachis in Cabo. And watch out for mariachis in Cabo in Mexico. They'll, they'll sing you a song and then ask you for money. That's true. Um, Carrie Marshall says, anyone have any good ideas for cruise podcasts? Why, yes, I will tell you my three favorite cruise podcasts. And because Tommy from Always Be Booked podcast is on today, I'm going to tell you that you should listen to that one. Um, Tommy from Always Be Booked is an awesome 
long form podcaster. And I like long form because I commute to my job every day. So his podcasts will focus on ports. They will focus on all the cruise lines. They will focus on his cruise reviews, a number of different things. They are awesome. As you've also heard me mention today, I listen to cruise radio religiously. Doug Parker does an awesome job. He has more of a short form format where he covers cruise news. He does ship reviews pretty much every week with regular people who have just got off of ships. He interviews industry people, and he is amazing. He also has River Cruise Radio. That's the bomb. One of our first podcasts that we fell in love with was the Cruise Dudes podcast, and they are awesome guys. Lots of fun. They are West Coasters just like we are, and you've got to listen to the Cruise Dudes too. So those are the four podcasts that we listen to. I don't know of a whole lot of other ones, so if you guys know of any other cruise-related podcasts, you need to let me know. Brandy is also recommending Always Be Booked and Cruise Radio. Yes, definitely you guys. Um, I love cruise podcasts. They keep me informed. They keep me entertained. And I'm one of those people that when I'm commuting to work, I have to be listening to something. Music doesn't cut it for me. I need, um, I need brain stimulation if that makes sense. So I love them. Um, Let's see what other question. Rylan wants to know if we've ever been on Crystal Cruises. No, we haven't, Rylan. That's a little out of our of our price range. We we really can't afford that, but we would love to. Wanda said embarkation day drinks cost too. Yeah, all the drinks cost, Wanda, unless you have the drink package. Um, Patty wants to know, can you add to your onboard credit? Sure, you can do that. You could add to it anytime you wanted to. I hope that we've answered all the questions today. Do you see any other ones? Um, I don't have any of them queued up, no. I mean, they went by so fast. Okay, sounds good. Hey, Ginger, what's an OG subscriber shirt? What do you mean, what's OG? Am I missing something? What's OG? Ginger, tell me. I love t-shirt ideas. Okay, sounds good. Um, all right, Lee Jack is back again. Hi, you guys. We we met Lee Jack on our last cruise, so it's very special when they join our podcast. Hello to your whole family. Say hi to everybody for me. I don't know which one of you is here, but I want to say hi. Um, okay. Oh my God, Tommy, I forgot Royal Caribbean blog podcast. I'm a terrible human being. Thank you so much for reminding me, you guys. Royal Caribbean blog podcast. As you know, and as Tommy will always call Matt, he's the godfather of Royal Caribbean. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm just terrible for forgetting that. I listen to every single episode. Even though I don't cruise as often on um, Royal Caribbean, his podcasts are so incredibly information-packed, and he is an absolute encyclopedia of Royal Caribbean information. He, If you called him or emailed him and asked him a question about the Royal Caribbean drink package, he would know the ins, the outs, every tier, the cost, I mean, just everything. He's also extremely good about giving advice on shore excursions, um, knows every single... Um, you know, every single ship like the back of his hand, even if he hasn't been on it, he knows a little bit about that class of ships. So thank you, Tommy, for reminding me. My gosh, I can't believe I I forgot about that. Um, All right, you guys, I think we're getting ready to wrap up today. Um, This is the longest podcast that we have ever done, an hour and 15 minutes, but there was just so much to cover. And the most people. Uh, Do you know how many people are in the podcast? um, About 400 maybe? Four or five hundred? No, no. In one time, there were two hundred. Okay. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I hope that all of you have a wonderful rest of your day. If you have any questions for us that we have missed, please forgive me, first of all. Second of all, wait until this live stream saves to replay and then just leave a comment for me, okay? If you enjoyed this, also give us a thumbs up. We so appreciate it. We're going to get those t-shirts up for sale. You have made the decision for us. It's time. If it's not perfect, we will make it better. So your feedback needs to keep coming. Thank you all so much. Please check out our awesome sponsor, cruiseline.com, who we are so pleased to work with because they are just the best fit for us. They are a product that we know and love. So please be sure to check them out using the link below once this saves to replay. And thank you. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye. Cruise around the week! Hey, click me to subscribe.